Welcome to the first look and guide to Heatblur's Jester AI for the Lantern Pod. Simple and powerful, Jester now allows you to operate the Lantern Targeting Pod without the need for a human Rio in the back seat. We'll be making the assumption that you have at least a basic understanding of the Lantern already. If not, you can check out my full guide to the Lantern Pod found on screen and in the description. We'll need the Jester toggle menu and optionally the select commands 1 through 8 for this tutorial. As a quick recap of Jester's controls, pressing A will open the control menu. We can then either look at the option we want with our head and press A to select, or we can press the left control and the appropriate number to choose instead. I'd recommend at least binding the control menu to your HOTAS. So let's get right into it with the setup. Select air to ground mode from the display control panel. Jester should then automatically select the lantern for us and inform us the laser is armed if it is already warmed up. Laser armed. Whilst we're here, we'll set our VDI display mode to show the lantern by selecting TV. Jester will automatically warm up the pod after takeoff. This will take about 9 minutes. During this time, your display will be blank then show not ready before finally showing the lantern display and Jester arming the laser for us. Additionally, should you have the TID repeated on our HSD, the display will blank out. This is normal behavior, given that the TID is currently displaying the lantern as well. Jester will automatically select the TCS if you enter air to air mode and the lantern when in air to ground mode. Should you wish to manually change it, you can select this from the main menu, air to ground, and select Use TCS. Next, select our laser guided bombs from the main menu, air to ground, ordnance. We can laser guide GBU 10s, 12s, 16s, or 24s. The selected weapon appears center bottom of the lantern display. Lastly, we need to set our laser code to match the bombs. The laser code for our bombs can be found on the kneeboard by pressing right shift K. Remember that the codes to our bombs can only be configured prior to takeoff. Next, we'll open up the context menu with A and select option 7, next page. From here, we can force the laser to stay always on, useful if you're lasing for another aircraft's weapons. Set our laser code. Ask Jester to designate. This will make Jester fire the laser to range find and designate the location under the cursor as our system's target. Undesignate to clear our target. Disable or enable Jester automatically designating targets when he finds one for us. Toggle between black hot and white hot display modes. And lastly, reset all options on this page. We can set our laser code by selecting option 2. The code entry appears in the center. The first digit will always be 1, so we will enter our code to match the bombs we're going to guide. If they do not match, our bombs will not track. Afterwards, Jester will enter the code. You can see the code bottom center of the lantern display as he changes it. We're now ready to go, so let's find some targets. Let's start with the lantern queuing. On the context menu, we'll select queue mode. Here we've got the various ways to queue our pod onto a target. Most often you'll be using a waypoint, so we'll go over QWP or Q waypoint first. Select option 3. We can now pick a location from our flight plan waypoints 1 through 3, fixed point, initial point, surface target, home base, or defense point. Once picked, Jester will queue the targeting pod onto that location for us. Set yourself up in an orbit around the location within 10 miles, and we'll start hunting for targets. Let's get Jester to help out. Open the menu and we can select search for targets. We can then select from a list of types for Jester to prioritize. In the brackets you will either see all or active. Active will only search for objects that are active unit groups as set in the mission editor. All will allow Jester to locate static objects like buildings or parked aircraft, also set per the editor. In most cases your target will be active unless they are a building. Jester will not automatically target objects that are part of the map. Once picked, Jester will start scanning an area in a circular motion for us. Keep flying your orbit and remember to avoid masking his line of sight and avoid moving the aircraft quickly as this will throw off the pod. Check the orbit, man. We're masked. He will automatically call out the first target and type that he finds. Going to area track. Captured Sam. Laser range valid. Then designate it for us if it's within laser range. 
We can also cycle through to next and previous targets on the menu quickly once he's done a search. Jester will not target friendly units, only hostiles. Alright, let's do our first delivery. With the target selected, Jester will call out corrections and talk us onto the target. Reference the top of our lantern display for the degrees left or right that we need to steer to fly over the target. Come right. Maintain centered on target as Jester calls out the time and when to release the bomb. Come right, seven degrees. Come right, one degree. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Release on his cue and maintain line of sight. Five seconds. Okay, let's pickle that sucker. As the bomb falls, Jester will fire the laser ten seconds before impact and guide it onto target. TTI, ten seconds. Firing my laser. Impact! Terminate. Out for hit assessment, or come around for another pass if you'd like. Another happy customer. If your lineup wasn't great, the bomb may miss the laser. After a while, Jester will call terminate and disengage. Okay, terminate. Reset and try again. Double check your laser code and selected weapon, and try to keep within a couple degrees of error when you release the bomb. Alright, let's look at other ways of finding targets. Next up, Q to HUD. Open the Jester menu, select Q mode, and Q HUD. This cues our lantern to the crosshair on our HUD. Simply point it at your target area, open up the context menu and select Area Track. Going to area track. Alternatively, you could select Next and Laser Designate. Laser range is valid. Option 2 is Q Snowplow. This points the pod down below our nose to sweep the area in front of us for targets. Again, we can command Jester to search if we wish. Option 4 is Q to Designation, which is great for reacquiring a target previously designated if Jester got lost or loses the target during a turn, which has masked the pod's line of sight. Commanding QDES will return you to the active designation. QMap allows us to ask Jester to slew onto any map marker. Open your map with F10, select Marker, and click where you'd like to make a new marker and name it. You will then be able to find the marker under Q mode, Q map. Jester will then attempt to slew the lantern onto the area marked for you. Yes, sir. Lastly, we can use head control to visually place a lantern onto a target that we can see. Open the menu, select head control, and Q to our eyeballs. This will bring up a red circle in the centre of our view. Look where you want the pod to go and press the Jester menu toggle once more. To mark that location, and Jester will attempt to bring the pod onto target for us. We can also take manual control of the targeting pod with a limited capacity too. Say we have a bridge we wish to target that is near our waypoint, but not actually on the waypoint. First, queue to our waypoint. Enter area track mode and we'll take manual control, open up the context menu, head control, direct head control, note the red circle on the centre of our lantern display and the red dot in the centre of our view. Place the red dot within the red circle in the centre of our display and we will enter manual head control. Simply look away from the centre in the direction you wish to slew the pod within the larger red circle. Press the menu toggle when you're on target, and don't forget to designate it from the next menu. Valid laser range. Now we're set up to do our bomb run. That's it, pickle! Oh, that's nice, impact! Terminate, out for hit assessment. Jester AI's Lantern update provides great new features for anyone flying solo, giving us the ability to use laser-guided bombs with intuitive commands, allowing complete control of your Tomcat without needing a human Rio on hand. This feature will be included in the next DCS Open Beta update. I hope you've enjoyed, and take care.